AI-powered Nudify bots are now out of control, taking innocent photos and transforming them into explicit deepfakes without consent. These tools, fueled by artificial intelligence, strip images of clothing in seconds and spread rapidly, especially on Telegram, with millions of users actively creating manipulated content. Victims include schoolgirls, celebrities, and even political figures. No one is safe. This isn't just a privacy issue, it's a growing crisis with real emotional and social consequences. In this video, we'll uncover how these bots operate, the damage they cause, and what makes them so difficult to stop. Stay with us to learn the full story. What AI Nudify bots are and how they work. AI Nudify bots rely on deepfake technology, which uses machine learning, to alter or manipulate photos. These bots claim to strip images of clothing, generating fake explicit content. Some even promise to simulate sexual acts using any uploaded image. The technology behind it might sound complicated, but the process is shockingly simple for users. With just a few clicks, anyone can upload a photo, and the bot returns the altered image in seconds. These bots thrive on platforms like Telegram. Telegram is especially popular because of its structure. It allows for the creation of bots that function like mini apps, operating within group chats, private chats, or even direct messages. Many bots are designed to seem harmless at first, but once users interact with them, they reveal the option to create explicit content. Others require tokens for high-quality results, monetizing this dangerous tool. The concerning part is how easy these bots are to use and access. While some platforms try to limit such content, Telegram's bot infrastructure makes enforcement difficult. As a result, these bots operate freely in an environment where rules are often vague and lightly enforced. The rapid growth and scale of the problem. In a recent investigation by Wired, at least 50 bots on Telegram were identified, with some boasting over 400,000 active users per month. Collectively, these bots claim to have more than 4 million monthly users. This is a snapshot of the problem, likely just the tip of the iceberg, considering that many bots and channels operate quietly in non-English speaking communities. Once Telegram removes a bot or channel, creators often relaunch it under a new name within hours. This endless game of whack-a-mole makes it incredibly hard to control the spread of these services. Not only are these bots growing in numbers, but they're also becoming more sophisticated. Some even provide options for users to upload multiple images of a person to train the AI, enhancing the realism of the generated content. What's worse is that many bots are designed to link to other similar services, keeping users within a connected ecosystem. Channels promote tokens, special discounts, and new features. This ensures that if one bot goes down, users are quickly redirected to another. This interconnected nature of deepfake bots makes it nearly impossible to eradicate them from the platform completely. The devastating impact on victims. The harm caused by AI-powered Nudify bots isn't just a hypothetical concern. Real people are already suffering severe consequences. In South Korea, schoolgirls became victims when their personal photos were stolen and shared through explicit deepfakes on Telegram. These manipulated images spread quickly, causing panic among students and parents who struggled to understand how innocent photos were weaponized against them. The emotional toll was immense, as many students experienced fear, humiliation, and anxiety. Students and local authorities tried to intervene, but once the images were in circulation, controlling their spread proved impossible, leaving students and families with lasting emotional scars. The problem extends beyond vulnerable students to high-profile figures. Italy's Prime Minister, Giorgia Maloney, was targeted by non-consensual deepfake abuse, with altered images of her spreading across social media platforms. While public figures have always faced scrutiny, the use of AI deepfakes takes harassment to a new, invasive level. Manipulated content like this aims to not only humiliate, but also to damage reputations, showing how easily even prominent figures can be attacked. Maloney's case highlights the growing misuse of AI technology to undermine political figures, raising concerns about how these tools might disrupt public discourse and trust. In the United States, the situation has also spread into schools. A recent survey revealed that 40% of students were aware of deepfake-related incidents at their schools, where personal photos were altered into explicit content. The fear of becoming the next target has deeply affected students' behavior, leading to a withdrawal from social media or limit their online presence. The emotional fallout from this type of abuse is significant. Students experience heightened anxiety and isolation, knowing that their photos could be exploited at any moment. 
the psychological impact can be long-lasting, affecting both mental health and personal relationships. Public figures, including celebrities, have also been targeted by deep fakes. In 2023, manipulated explicit images of Taylor Swift circulated on X, formerly Twitter, adding another example of how this technology is used to harass and harm. Swift's case is not an isolated incident, as other celebrities have faced similar attacks. These examples highlight how deepfake technology can create a nearly unstoppable wave of harassment, where once an image spreads, it's impossible to contain. Victims often feel powerless, as even platform removals cannot undo the damage. The lack of accountability, with many perpetrators hiding behind anonymity or lax laws, only worsens the trauma, leaving victims without recourse or justice. Telegram's role and struggle to contain the issue. Telegram has become a hub for AI-powered nudifier bots because of how its platform is structured. Bots are allowed to operate freely, with users able to search for them and join groups or channels where they're promoted. Unlike platforms like Facebook or Instagram, Telegram's moderation policies are more lenient, giving these bots room to thrive. Wired's investigation revealed that Instagram removed 75 bots and channels only after media inquiries about their existence. While the platform did act, it didn't provide clear explanations or public statements about why the bots were allowed to exist in the first place. And Telegram's response is often reactive rather than proactive. Bot creators typically relaunch their services within hours of takedowns, making it difficult for the platform to maintain control. Telegram's open infrastructure plays a significant role in enabling these bots. The app not only provides the tools to host bots, but also offers search functionality, which makes it easy for users to find related channels or bots. Many bots cross-promote each other, ensuring that if one bot is removed, users have access to several others that perform similar functions. This makes it clear why Telegram, despite efforts to remove some bots, remains the go-to platform for AI nudify tools. The Challenge of Regulation and Legal Roadblocks Although many states and countries are beginning to address non-consensual deepfakes, enforcement remains a significant challenge. In the United States, 23 states have passed laws specifically targeting non-consensual, intimate image abuse. However, these laws often focus on distribution rather than the creation of deepfakes, leaving loopholes that predators can exploit. Tech platforms like Apple and Google have also tried to address the problem, but even some explicit deepfake tools manage to slip through their App Store policies. Telegram's vague terms of service make it unclear whether non-consensual deepfake creation is explicitly prohibited, complicating the process of holding users or developers accountable. Bot creators also exploit loopholes by adding disclaimers, such as no illegal content allowed, to avoid immediate scrutiny. This makes it harder for platforms to take action against them, especially when users are operating within seemingly legal gray areas. How to protect yourself from becoming a victim Even though the rise of AI Nudify bots is concerning, there are ways to minimize the risks and protect yourself. It's essential to be proactive in safeguarding personal images. The first step is to limit public sharing of personal photos, especially on platforms like Instagram, Facebook, or Telegram, where your images might be scrapped without your knowledge. Private accounts with stricter privacy settings can reduce the chances of your photos being misused. Using reverse image search tools like Google Lens or TinEye can help you track whether your images have been manipulated or are circulating on different sites. These tools can scan the web for any match of your photos, allowing you to act quickly if you discover a problem. Regular checks are especially important if you've ever shared photos publicly. If you find that your images have been manipulated or shared without consent, it's important to report the abuse immediately. Many platforms now offer tools to report non-consensual intimate images, NCII. Law enforcement can also be contacted, as NCII is considered illegal in many jurisdictions. Victims should also reach out to advocacy groups such as Refuge or Hashtag Not Your Porn, which provides guidance and support in dealing with these types of abuse. For those using Telegram, monitoring public channels or groups for references to your content can help detect any unauthorized use of your images early. Finally, staying aware and informed about AI risks ensures you remain one step ahead of potential threats.